Good morning, Quack Copter 101. Before we get started, let's get the shout-out out of the way. Today's shout-out goes to Hey Peppy. Hey Peppy was first to say first, and that's who wins the shout-out. So what do I have for you today? I have a neat new transmitter for you today. Um, you see all my little jumpers here, T8SG Original Jumper, T8SG V2 Plus. And what is this one? This is the T12 Jumper. What is the T12 Jumper? What's it, the difference between this and, say, the T8SG V2 or the original T8SG well, both are multi protocol transmitters, which means both of these, or all three of these, in effect, you can fly multiple airplanes with uh, multiple receiver combinations. You know, Free Sky, Fly Sky, DSM, um, even SEMA, even Hubson, all of those are available through these multi protocol transmitters. You don't need to have a bunch of different transmitters to be able to to fly a bunch of different type of quadcopters or airplanes. Um, but what's the difference between the T8SG versions and the T12 version? Well, there are two types of multi-protocol proto multi -protocol firmware out there that go with different transmitters. Um, the first one that was available, that I believe was available, was through deviation software uh, using the uh, Wakira Devos. And that's what the T8SG uh, V2 Jumper Plus and uh, T original T8SG was using, is using um, deviation firmware on the transmitter. But there is another, as they say in Star Wars. The other is OpenTX. Okay, OpenTX uh, multi protocol was available uh, through uh, JR modules built into that you could plug into uh, the um, X9D. Um, and also, I believe uh, some of the other uh, Tyrannus. Uh, transmitters can use these multi-protocol JR, tra JR module transmitters. But up until now, you know, there wasn't an, another option available. You had to go with Tyrannus to be more or less be using uh, OpenTX. But now along comes Jumper op offering you a new option, a second option, a cheaper option. This is not an expensive transmitter. But what's cool about it is it comes with the JR modules for it already uh, installed. Now, the other jumpers, the ones that use deviation, they have the module already built in. Um, you do not need to install this module or plug in this module. It does, you know, in the back, the TASG Plus does have a JR, you know, JR module box in the back, which you can add additional modules on, but their multi protocol module is already built in there. The foreign one is already built inside. This one does not have it built inside. In fact, if you look on the top here where the antenna normally goes, it's missing the antenna. It just has the module already installed, plugged in. I'm trying to unplug it. There we go. To show how these JR modules install, they're just uh, five pin connectors, and you just, they just plug right in. <laughs> it's pretty cool to be able to do that. Um, additionally, this can use like uh, the Crossfire module if you want to do extremely long range flying. <laughs> uh, that's kind of iffy here in the US to be doing that, but it is capable of doing such, you know, if you want to do that, uh, flying, you know, using a um, Crossfire module. But uh, let's go other, over other uh, features of the transmitter. It does have two, two position switches on top. And it has four three position switches available, ready to go. And it does have two scroll wheel uh, aux knobs on this. And these are your navigation buttons. This is enter, and this is also enter too. And this is escape or backing. And uh, up down, these are your navigation buttons for forward and backward. And this one too is for forward. And if you hold it down for two seconds, I believe it goes backward in the navigation. Now, one other thing that's changed from this, oh, I haven't gone over these top, uh, this is your PPM port. This is if you want to install, you know, use this uh, jumper to run uh, simulation software on your computer. You use a dongle along with a PPM cable that plugs right in there and you can do such. And finally, if you want to update the firmware, you've got this uh, micro USB or mini USB port right there. And additionally, I haven't talked about this yet, but let's look in the battery bay. This comes with a uh, AA uh, battery tray. I removed that and instead of am, am running a uh, LiPo battery, I believe it's a thousand milliamp per hour or something like that, uh, 2S battery. Um, that was, is what I recommend for you folks. If you use AA batteries, this is gonna drain alkalines just like that. Um, it is pretty power intensive because it's 
I think the output from this transmitter is pretty damn high power. And this is power, being powered by the battery that you select. So again, I recommend a LiPo, a 2S LiPo. And finally, this is another finally. Notice we got a micro SD or a U, <laughs> yeah, micro SD card slot here. Um, what I got in there is the sound files for this. So which means when I turn this on, Welcome to it has noises or sounds that you can include on this, you know, um, warnings. That's another thing about OpenT. I haven't mentioned about OpenTX versus Deviation. OpenTX is extremely configurable as compared to Deviation. Deviation is a little easier to set up, though, than OpenTX. OpenTX is a little harder to set up, but it is extremely configurable. You can get it to do anything and say anything <laughs> while you're flying. <laughs> so uh, that's why some people prefer OpenTX over Deviation because it has a lot more features, but again, it's a lot harder to learn to use than uh, deviation. So, okay, the big thing is let's demonstrate this flying some aircraft. So, since this is a multi protocol transmitter, let's see how well it does. So, hope you enjoy these flights. Okay, I brought uh, four aircraft that I'm going to fly with this today. Um, we're just going to start off with the Hubson. Uh, what is that? 123D, which is a neat little aircraft. I want to actually open it up and try it with this particular transmitter and uh, we have a turtles here which is free sky ver uh, free sky format d16 I believe 16 channel and we got a SEMA x5c which we can also fly with this and a sky king which is a free sky uh, receiver module inside there so let's start off with the Hubson okay we're gonna start off with the uh, little Hubson here uh, h123d h123d um, in its menu, I'm going to click on Bind. Okay, I already selected Hubson module. Um, I forgot to mention, to use these multi-protocols, I strongly recommend uh, that you set up one drone uh, with all the switches set up the way you like it, and then use that as a template. You can actually copy these uh, and save them in your transmitter, each different model. Um, like I have a Hubson model set up. I do have a FreeSky mod or version set up. I do have a SEMA version set up. And I do have an F959 uh, version set up for my uh, F959 there. But uh, right now I'm just going to hit bind under Hubson, on, on the Hubson one that I already set up, which is that button there. I believe I have to hit bind. And then I press in this power to power up the drone. And we should be actually connected. I heard that beep beep. We should be good to go. Let's see if we can fire up the motors. Motors are fired up. Let's take to the air. And there we go. Flying it with a T-12. It's a neat little bird, this one here. The Hubson H123D. Now, this transmitter, the T-12, people are going to ask, does it have the Hall Effect gimbals of the V8 or the T-8 SGV2 Plus? No, it does not. <laughs> It's got regular gimbals. Um, that's a kind of a sa money saving feature because if you want those Hall effects, they're pricey. They ain't cheap. <laughs> they add another $40 to the cost of the uh, transmitter. So that's why they're not included with this particular transmitter. I think that's enough of showing off the Hubson. Let's land the Hubson right there and stopping the motors and unplugging. Let's switch to something completely different. If I can get this unplugged. The thing about this hubs it's hard to unplug this thing. Let's try the T or C Max 5C. So let's turn on C Max 5C. C Max 5C is turned on. And now I'm gonna go into my menus here and scroll up to SEMA and select it. Select model. Give me fail safe warning, I don't care. And <laughs> it always does that. And then uh, enter into the me menu. On. Oh, I gotta go to the right. And then scroll up to bind and select bind. And we should be bound, we should be good to go. And, uh, oh, yes, we are. So, flying a CMX 5C with this. So with this uh, module, we can actually take that X5C uh, pretty dang far as compared to, say, uh, using its own transmitter. Because this one is a very powerful transmitter, the T8SG, or 
not THG, the T12. I think it's 150 milliwatt, which is pretty darn high power. So we see that we can fly CMX 5C with this and actually fly it very well with this because uh, these sticks are much better than the toy transmitter you get with the X5C. <laughs> so you got much more precise control. So let's land this and switch to something completely different. Okay, turning that off. Let's try Free Sky. And I think all I need to do for Free Sky is simply switch to my, hold on, I'll exit. I'm going to switch to new module. Uh, going down to Free Sky D16, which I already had set up. And selecting it, select model. And we should be good to go there. And plugging in Free Sky. Now, another thing, uh, again, I mentioned when you use these, uh, set up one that you really want to have all your switches set to. And that's what I did with this Free Sky one. This is my uh, main model. <laughs> my main template that I got all the switches and the way I got this set up is um, this switch is angle this is uh, air mode and this is acro but we're gonna be flying angle and this switch is beeper and this switch is arm and we should be good to go so let's take this one up the turtles oh yeah. by the way I do like his turtles <laughs> it's a Mean little machine, little micro racer, the turtles. You can use 4S batteries, that's why I like the turtle. <laughs> Neat little quack cup, but, but you can see right now we're flying using Free Sky. So all the protocols are available DSM, you know, Fly Sky, just about all the protocols. Only the odd ones are missing. The odd toy drones, mainly. Some of the odd toy drones. A lot of the toy drones are in here, like Seema and that, you know. So we're going to call quits for this one next. Let's fly something entirely different. So let's bring it in, bring it in. Trying to land it nicely. Uh, there we go. <laughs> so that's Free Sky version, Free Sky format. Um, disarming before I touch this thing. <laughs> and I'm plugging that. And what's next? Let's do the... Uh, Sky King. We got a bit of a breeze here today. This is going to be interesting. Flying the Sky King in the breeze. But to do the Sky King, I need to hit enter. Or exit. Exit. Scroll up to F959. Select it. Select model. And I'm pretty sure I need to also enter into the um, section here for bind and select bind once we get it. Fired up. So let's plug in the Sky King. And fly this thing. I like this old Sky King. It's one of my keepers. Most of you have seen lots of videos with this. <laughs> so, okay, let's select uh, bind. This one you got to bind every time, I believe. Pretty sure you do. Yep, and there we go. Down, up, left, right. Surfaces are correct. Let's go for a flight of the Sky King. Actually, let me put my glasses on before we go for the flight of the Sky King. So I can see it a little better. Which way is the wind? There's the wind. Sky King being flown by the T12. So, you know, all in all, T12 is like the, the V2 or the T, all the ET8SGs got all the multi protocols actually I think it, this module that they got installed on it has a few more um, protocols than the original V2 or the original T8SGs could had in their menu I, I can't remember what they are I'll, I'll try to go through them here after the flight before I do the uh, you know down in the description the video description below I'll try to include a list of all the protocols that uh, the T12 is able to to fly with but that's the t12 multi protocol only difference main difference between it and the uh, t8 sgs is it now is usable with uh, um, OpenTX protocol if you want to do all that configuration stuff 
a lot of people like to monkey with uh, their transmitter firmware and include various inputs and outputs uh, and noise files and warning you, you know, like three minutes or something like that. Uh, tell you a low battery, it'll, it'll, you know, you can record your own voices, voice file on here too. You don't need to use the pre-programmed ones. So you can put your own voice on this if you wish. So, like I said, it's highly configurable. Okay, let's land my F959 here on this kind of breezy morning. Let's go dot and wind first. And then come up wind. Oh, oh, oh. Wing came off again. My wings keep popping off on this thing. No big deal, but because it doesn't come down too hard. <laughs> but uh, I tried to tape them on and the tape keeps coming loose. So maybe I gotta use glue. <laughs> so that's it. So that's the um, T12. Neat, neat transmitter. Let's see if I can turn it off. You gotta hold it down for a long time to turn this thing off. There we go. D12 from Jumper. So, hope you enjoyed these flights. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.